What's up, motherfuckers? Welcome back to Cooking with Bird Martinez. The one, the only, Bird Martinez. Anyways, so yesterday I made them nachos and they were fucking bomb. But I still have some meat left over. So I decided to make burritos. I don't cook fancy shit every day. I don't go all out every day. Sometimes, you know, bitch, you know, we have to make some basic ass food. There goes the cucaracha. So... This is called Sopa de Fideo. And this is pretty much what all Mexican little kids grew up with. We grew up with albondigas, meatballs. We grew up with this bitch right here. So what you will need for this recipe is fideo. There's the one with the little letters. There's ones with the conchas. There's one. There's like different shapes. But my favorite one is the original fideo. I'm going to make two little baggies. See, it doesn't even matter the brand. I have two brands right here and I'm gonna mix them up. And you're gonna need some tomatoes. I'm gonna use three and a half tomatoes. You're gonna need this bitch right here. What is it called? Consomme de tomate. And you're gonna need consomme the um, chicken flavor. What else are you gonna need? You're gonna need some onion and some garlic, of course. And I always like to use tomato paste. And you're gonna need Samasola, porque sin masola no está sola. Who remembers them shits? Back in the day, the commercials would always say, con masola no está sola. Anyways, I'm talking to myself. So, you're also gonna need like a pot if you're gonna make two baggies. And then you're gonna put some oil. If you start cooking the sopa, the fideo, you need to make your mixture. Because once the soup is ready, you need to like put that shit in there like ASAP. I'll show you get what it popping. You're gonna need the garlic. The tomato, I usually like to cut it in half, like so. Make sure you don't get cut. Don't do it like me, I'm a fucking professional bitch. Be careful with the knife. I know people are like, be careful, bird. But I've just been doing this for so long, my kid is, is about to be 13, so. I've been working with knife for a long time. So you're gonna put the onion in there, the tomato paste, is that what it's called? I don't know. And then you're gonna put the consomme de tomate de pollo and the other consomme, the tomatoes flavor. I know it already has some tomato in it, but you know, you need a little bit more. That's why we always have a lot of this fish. So everything's in there, and I'm gonna fill it up up to here with water. It looks like all together and I'm gonna blend it. I'm gonna put a little bit of oil in here. You know what? I'm teaching you guys how to do it because before I would get all my sopa ready and then I'm like, oh shit, it's ready. And then I have to make that. And by the time I, I was finished with that, my sopa was burnt. So always make sure this is done first. So when this is done, you could just do it really fast. I'm gonna put the sopa in. Like so. There goes one. Where's the other one? And there goes the other one. And turn up the fire. There goes two. The trick to a good sopa is that you always have to move it around. Before, I would like go like this. Like I was scared, you know? Now I'm like, yeah, motherfuckers, like flip that shit, turn that shit, you know? And when it turns golden brown or a little crispy, that's when it's ready. And always make sure you have a top ready to go because you're gonna need it. Don't be scared. Just move this bitch. Your baby is gonna love this. Your husband, whoever. This is some real Mex. This is like Mexican soul food. That's what it is. Like when people get sick, when babies are like starting to eat, they're like six months. This is what they eat. All golden brown. That's the color that we are going for, motherfuckers. Like that's what we want. Okay. Now we're gonna add the tomato mixture that we made. Put it in here. Get your top ready. And you're gonna 
let it season for like three minutes. Let, let all that good stuff make love in there. Okay. okay. Now I'm cooking my meat for my burritos. I wanted to show you guys how to make burritos, but I feel like it's obvious. Or maybe I will next time. So, yeah. Licuadora vaso. I don't know how to say it in English. Blender thing. Blender motherfucker. I don't know. Okay. So we're gonna fill it up all the way to the top with water. What we want it to look like. See how it's all thick? Yeah. Like that. And we're just gonna add the water. Ooh. And that's gonna be the sopa. I'm just leave it for like Let's say 10 more minutes until it's like these are softer. What it looks like at the end. And um, this is my meat. But anyways, let's focus on this bitch right here. So this is what it looks like. As you can see, it's hot. And you just add some lemon. If you want to, add some tapatillo. My mom used to put some a little bit of ice because it gets hot. And then the kids get hungry and you're like, we want to eat now. You blow on it. Mm. That's the sopa de fideo that I grew up with. Mm. Now my kids grew up with. Little Mario's gonna come and eat right now when it cools down. But anyway, this is my recipe, motherfuckers. I hope you like like it. I hope you try it out. This is real, authentic Mexican ass food. I love you guys. Bird gang, 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 motherfuckers. Peace.